Lansdowne Road and the European Cup had never seen anything like it. The crowd was the biggest ever for a final. No Irish province had ever played in front of such an audience. David Humphreys at his side stood 80 minutes away from glory. So Mason, whose goal kicking has had such a major say in Ulster getting to this final, gets off to a good start. And what a good start it is. McKinty goes to ground. Matchett has a glance. Clayton Thomas is watching to see if Columbia are offside at this early juncture. Ulster had possession of that, and uh, that is one they should have won fairly quickly. So a nervous start by Ulster. Labitte just about scraped over a no more. But how short does Alan Clark going to be? That's good enough. Great take, Matchett. Humphreys on the charge. Offloads it to Bell. This is better stuff from Ulster. Humphreys again. That's for Coulter to chase. Didn't give it enough, Coulter. Benjamin Land. And he's kept it in field. And this time it's going to be a penalty to Ulster. Columbia have got themselves offside. Mason, that's going to come in. Ulster two metres out, match it. Humphreys has a go himself. Back inside to match it. Clayton Thomas has already awarded the penalty. Oh, hushed. Mason. He's done it again. Excellent support from Clark. That's a good drive. They need a few more red shirts there. Morrow, I'm sure, came in from the wrong side. The referee had spotted that. Waits for advantage. There goes Ward. Good first time tackling by Colomier. And by Lorenzi in particular. Humphreys with the drop at goal. Just pushed it wide, but I think Clayton Thomas is going to bring them back for the penalty to Ulster. Team's name. Mason. The roar went up as soon as he kicked that off. And the question is, having failed to capitalise before, can Ulster do it here at this most crucial part of this final? Well, it's, uh, he's gone for the scrum and hopefully it pays off. Brave decision. Ulster shunting forward before the ball goes in. They need to get the strike. That's better. Match it. Jonathan Bell, little pop pass, nicely done. Jan Cunningham, good Columbia defence. Ulster a metre out. The Ulster pack have got the hands on it. That's a penalty. Mason doesn't miss them from there. Simon Mason's fourth penalty. And Ulster had piled everybody to the near side of the field. Humphreys. Drop goal number four in the European Cup. Solid looking Ulster scrummage in the first half. This is Ward, who's got through a couple of tackles. They need to retain possession. Payson seems to have got himself in the way. And he mustn't interfere. Referee doesn't like that at all. That's a penalty. <laughs> penalty number five for Simon Mason. Great tackle by Andy Ward. Ulster offside in front of the post. Better control this time by Ulster. Humphreys, he's kept that low. Saturday is going to be stretched. Well taken by Coulter. What does that look like? It looks very good indeed. Clayton Thomas has blown his whistle. And Ulster have won the European Cup. Delight for David Humphreys and for Andy Ward. Derek Topping, who came on as replacement, but every single man of the squad has played a huge part throughout the season, and Lansdowne Road really has erupted in a sea of red and white. Ulster have won the European Cup, beating Colombia from France by 21 points to six. The big problem that David Humphreys has to worry about and how nice he's included Mark McCall in this is can he fill this cup up to the brim with champagne or whatever else and will it ever, ever, ever empty? What a reception awaits this side when they come back to the north of Ireland. Tony McWhorter who came off. Jonathan Bell for the commentary team here, the man of the match. Rob Irwin, the 35-year-old, what a pinnacle to his career. Gary Leslie, the man of replacement, who's played in every single European game. Stanley McDowell, who came on as replacement and did so well. Gary Longwell, only 10 short of Ulster caps, the record held by Willie Anderson. Justin Fitzpatrick, 
Derek Topping who came on once again as super sub. Little Andy Park. And the man with the golden boot himself, Simon Mason. What a season it's been for him. Sheldon Coulter, also from Ballymena, and another man from the County Antrim Club, Andy Matchett. Jan Cunningham, what a nasty eye he's got. He'll forget all about that later on this evening. Mark Blair, he will be one of the first men to empty that, I'm quite sure. And Alan Clark, formerly of Dungannon and Northampton, and one of Ulster's favourite adopted sons, Andy Ward from Waikato, Ballonahinch, Ulster and Ireland.